Top of the morning to you, Combat Corner here. My name is Kobe. My name is J- J- Jackson. J- J- Jackson. Uh, and today we've got UFC 299. We've got Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua, AJ, former heavy- heavyweight champ. We've got uh, on the undercard of that, a friend of the show, Joseph Parker. He's a friend of the show. Uh, and Zhang, who's uh, fighting also against Parker. A lot of good fights coming up. Oh, this is a very exciting weekend. Yeah. We've, we've, we've delved over the subject of uh, 299 for We've been months. edging for a while. We've been edging for a long time. Pretty good. I haven't come. so Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready I'm to, ready to s- splat everywhere. Same. And I am going to, and it's it's right there. And we've not had many people pull out, and it's fucking awesome. Oh, God, what a card. What a card we have. Uh, we've got a drink. We have... OKF Farmers Aloe Vera, original, vegan, no preservatives. Aloe vera water. Non-GMO. What's the... Oh, it's, this has got basically nothing in it apart from 10 grams of sugar. Let's get into the show. <laughs> All right, catch you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Combat Corner. Wow. No. Wow. Have you ever had this before? No. Neither. It smells nice. Hey, cheers. Cheers. I, we I should kinda, do that more often. We should yeah, cheers we should our drinks. Cheers. Let's do it we'll time. do it again. We should probably do it 30 times or so just to make up for all the times that we've missed. No, I was kidding. <laughs> Come <went>. on. <laughs> no. Um, do you know why they cheers drinks? Do no, you know I what don't. what the thing is? It's so... Apparently, back in the day, you'd, you'd cheers and you'd pour a little bit of your drink into the other person's drink to prove that you're not trying to poison them. Ah. And then it just turned into like a bit of a tradition of people. Well, they drinking. don't do that anymore. So are yeah, people exactly. poisoning? Now it's just for fun. How do I know now, though? How, now, I, I've never worried about people poisoning my drink until you brought this up. Well, um, I'm not poisoning you, I promise. That's quite nice. What are the benefits of drinking aloe vera? Do you not get sunscreen if you drink aloe vera? Uh, do you not get sunburn <laughs> if you drink aloe vera? Don't get sunscreen if you drink it. If um, you drink it, is it good for after sun care? I bet we have a weird geese, eh? 20% juice slash jugo. Oh, whoops. Shake well before serving. Bro, do you know what this kind of tastes like a little bit? That mogu mogu. It does. Without the mogu. Without one of the mogus. That one of the mogus. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Aloe vera is a medicinal plant. Fuck, I meant to. With <laughs> antioxidant and if it's a vera. <laughs> Mate. It's because this keyboard's crap. Benefits of drinking aloe. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so the benefits of drinking aloe vera juice. Antibacterial, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Shit. This is really good. Uh, improve digestion, support healthy blood sugar levels, improve oral health. Um, oral health? Yeah. If your oral game is suffering, this will improve if you're it. not good at oral, drink aloe vera. Drink uh, aloe oral. Uh, however, oral vera. certain compounds, especially aloe, may cause digestive discomfort. Oh, piss off, you pussy. Uh, this sounds good. I thought it said it was good, for improved digestion. Oh, there, is, it's like, there is a little bit of lumpy in this. Is there? Mm. Mine's got no lumpy. Oh, it does. Just I a can couple. see it. I don't think they're, uh, yeah, it might just be pulp. It's like mogu bits. It actually kind of, they remind me. This reminds me a lot of, of the mogu mogu. It's like pulp more. Do we have the mogu mogu bottle? Yeah, it's under the glove. This one? Yep. Is it that? Yeah, that's no, that's fun. not. That's not it. Damn. No, we don't. I would have had a look at it and just because it's probably got a lot of. Uh, maybe it's got aloe vera in it. Possibly. You know? Awesome. Anyway. Anyhow, guys, shall we start from the top, Co- right. Kobe? <clears throat> so, breaking down UFC two nine nine, Sean O'Malley is fighting Cheeto Marlon Vera. Marlon Cheeto Vera. What are your thoughts? Um, I've voiced my opinion on this fight a lot before. I don't think this fight should be happening in the first place. Um, 
Sean O'Malley is a star. No, he's not. Sean O'Malley is overhyped, in my opinion. <laughs> you went from zero, so, 100 to zero. I was just, I was trying to take the piss, but then I thought, oh, people are going to think I'm serious. Um, but no, I just think there's really something lacking with this guy. He, he's, he's got no great, personality. He's, yeah, it, everything seems scripted, and then as soon as he moves off a script, he's fucked. He has yeah. nothing. Like, Oh, I just he's, struggle. He's a great fighter. I, I love watching him fight. Don't get me wrong. But he's an excellent fighter. Is he, he's trying to be Conor McGregor, and I yeah. get why you'd want to do that because everyone Conor wants the same level of fame as Conor McGregor. Everyone wants the same hype behind them, like he had. Everyone wants to bring the same pay per views to the sport, especially when you're a champion now. Oh, absolutely. So like he's actually reaping the rewards of that, but mm. he's just not there. No. Like like that thing that in, uh, was in the MMA chat today. Um, Vaporia has more Instagram followers yeah, yeah. than Sean O'Malley. <clears throat> exactly. What the fuck? And Sean O'Malley, it feels like he's been around since like 20 fucking 10. Like he's been there for a long time. He's been in the limelight. And he's just like, I mean, he's entertaining. He's flashy. He's got the look, you know, he's got the star like qualities. It's just that his personality is like nothing. He has no big moments on the mic. No. no big press conference moments. And he tries to. He does. And he tries to force it and it's yeah. annoying. And like, it's all, it just gets awkward. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that uncomfortable. With Sean Strickland. I yeah. don't like that at all. Like, I that feel was like stupid. This press conference could be could be funny. I mean, we're gonna have Piotr Jan sitting there. Oh uh, yeah, true. And he's a bit of a savage. He's funny, yeah. On the mic, like he he doesn't hold back. No, uh, <clears throat> Holland, he's funny. Yeah, he's Holland's great. Laugh. I don't think there's gonna be too much beef. No, really. Um, maybe between Piotr, maybe more beef between Piotr and uh, O'Malley than anyone else on the card. To yeah, be honest, honestly, uh, I I agree. I don't see O'Malley really winning any. Uh, I remember the last time when Piotr and O'Malley fought. I honestly thought Piotr won the the press conference battle, mm-hmm. like because I think he called him a hooker. A he doesn't hooker. even doesn't even speak English, does he? No, he doesn't. He had to get it translated. How do you? Yeah, yeah exactly. And like that's just not done in the history of. <laughs> just Sean saying like, ah, Peter's a short guy. That's quite a good Sean, to be honest. Thanks, but he he does. He's yeah, and Piotr. Uh, his comeback in that last press conference when he said, like, I don't care about this guy. He's like a clown. He's like a prostitute, cheap prostitute that you find on the street. And he sat there wearing, like, a leather jacket with his long pink hair with mm. his face tats looking oh, like a meth Oh, he's got pink shorts, too. Oh, really? He's got pink shorts for this oh, weekend. Yeah, um, what the fuck? What is that? I don't know. They don't even have pink short like and call me sexist. I don't give a shit. They don't have pink shorts in the women's division. No. I mean, they're trying to build this gimmick around him that he's just like I don't even know candy cane. And I mean, look, he he will make a lot of money, and he probably will sell a decent chunk of pay per views. It's not because he's headlining it though. It's because look at the rest it, of this part card. of it, part got- of it. But if if it didn't have him, if it didn't have him headlining, and even Dustin was headlining, you'd probably sell a similar. The prelims are literally better than last week's. Fight night. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, by far. This is this is like a this card could have been three hundred if I had a better headliner. That is. You look. Oh, uh, it is better oh, than yeah. last week's it, it, no, it is, by it miles. Is. That Pedro Munoz Kyler Phillips fight is that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah, I like the look of that a lot. Uh, Gamrot's coming back versus RDA. Yeah, great card. Um, but look. I, Saying all that about Sean, I think he's going to get it done. Yeah, so I do really I. Do. Look, like I said, I love watching him fight. Yeah. I think he's a very talented fighter. Mm. I think he's a very good boxer. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, I just don't think Cheeto has done enough to improve. Improve. Yeah. yeah. And e- even that, just like cement a a real position as a title challenger, he hasn't done that. <clears throat> no. He's one. He's coming off one one win, and before that, he had a loss. Yeah. Yeah, because it would have been Corey. Yeah. And then that's chewy. And that fight between quick. him and Corey was pathetic. Like, yeah, he got dominated. When, yeah, from, from Cheeto's point of view. He showed that he wasn't very dynamic in that fight, and, and Corey showed the complete opposite. Corey and was able to He change. also showed very low fight yeah, IQ. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, How did one judge give that to, to Vera as well? That's ridiculous. 
Yeah, that was ridiculous. That was absolutely and mad. he's coming off a one against Pedro Munoz. Mm, who's who's like what number did like 12? 10, 11, yeah. Like so how does that how does that give you a title shot? Ooh. I don't. He was supposed to fight Henry Cejudo. But obviously Hen- Henry got injured. Oh, Cheeto. Yeah. All in right. this fight he was supposed to. And then the winner would have uh, fought the winner of that main event. But I mean, he didn't fight Henry Cejudo. No, he didn't. He That's didn't right. Beat Henry Cejudo. He beat Pedro Munoz, but it was obviously just set up that no matter who won, it was going to be them against the winner. And that was in August last year. Yeah, it was the same fight card as the Sean one, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Sterling O'Malley. So, yeah, there's no way in hell that Cheeto deserves this title shot. Absolutely no way. Look, he's got a chance, for sure. He's got heavy hands, good kicks. He can knock anyone out. He beat O'Malley in their first fight, although it was controversial. He can definitely win. Um, Another thing I want to see as well is O'Malley needs to fight more. He does. August to well, March. August that's, to March. That's a long, that's a long layoff for a, a, a second round KO when you hardly got touched. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, August. Are you counting? So about seven months it's been. It's quite a while. It is a champ. I want to see you fighting twice a year at least. That would add up to twice a year, ish, around about. Well, I said at least, <laughs> didn't I? I Not really put most. a little pillow Not in there most. for myself to fall back on. <laughs> no, I, I agree. Look, I think he could have turned around quicker, uh, especially because yeah, he got a, a second round KO. I don't think Cheeto Vera was was injured. Maybe it's just that that's the way it lined up, you know, because they had Sean defending, Volk defending, and then it was like he got the next one. Who knows? But I'm going to call Sugar Sean, Sugar Shane, as Snoop Dogg likes to call him. Sugar Shane. Does Snoop Dogg call him that? Yeah, apparently. Snoop Dogg, who's off the smoke. Snoop Dogg. Well, maybe now he's off the smoke. He calls him Sugar Sean. Maybe. But I haven't heard that yet. Might be dealing with a bit more clarity. Might be dealing mind. Yeah, no. You never know. You're calling my call. Ah, it's actually kind of tricky. Um, uh, I think. G- uh, uh, sorry, I think Sean is going to win, and I think it's going to be either a decision or a finish. Wow. <laughs> it, but I think hey, I don't you, think you, you heard it here first, that was, folks. That was a very Michael Owen take. Uh, no, I think it's going to be either an earlier finish or a decision. Uh, if you can't get him out of there early, I just don't think he's going to get it done late. We've never this seen. A tough one, man. We've never seen Sean O'Malley go more than three rounds. No, and we've never seen him wrestle. We <laughs> haven't. No, but I don't. I don't think Cheeto is going to be the guy to well, make him wrestle. Cheeto's I mean, got a we hell did of a see, chin. We did see um, him have to defend quite a lot in that first round against Aljo, up against the fence. Mm-hmm. Um, did well. Yeah, I think he did well as well. Look, I think Cheeto is a very slow starter. Um, if he can, if he can combat that, and maybe corner Sean. No, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> look, I think we're going to see a third round finish from Sean O'Malley. You reckon? Yeah, I think Cheeto is going to come out and try and rectify the fact that he is known as a slow starter, and possibly, you know, maybe empty the gas tank a little bit early, maybe a, get a little bit too excited. But I'm gonna I'm gonna veto that with my my pick. I think you already had your pick. You had your time to shine. I didn't make a pick though, it. and I've decided now. All right, I've decided. Hey, come on, man. Go, just do right. it. I'm gonna say Sugar Sean, Sugar Shane by decision. I think that Marlon Vera has a fucking amazing gas tank. He never gases, never runs out of steam. So yeah, this is hey, look. Don't look at me like that. Uh, he never runs out of steam. He's got a hell of a chin. He's never been finished. Never been finished in his life. Uh, look, I think that Sean is quicker, and I think he will. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Um, I think Sean is quicker, and I think he will clip him. But I think that his chin and that gas tank, I think it's going to carry Cheeto through the fight. But I don't I don't think he's going to get a finish. and I don't think he's going to win. I, I, I think we're going to see Sean take him down at some point. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to knock him out. And by the third round, I think he's going to try and wrestle. Take I'm him out. going to go uh, Sean O'Malley by third round submission. 
All right, cool. No, no that's uh, it. No, you third round, it. No, oh, I've changed my mind now. Just don't be surprised if we see some wrestling in this fight. Okay. Just saying. Because Cheeto is no slouch and he's not going to be easy to knock out and he's not going to run in. I don't think he's a slouch either, but we saw him against a high level kickboxer in Corey Sanhagen. And he didn't get finished. And Well, he didn't get finished, no. But does Corey possess the same kind of knockout power that Sean has and, and the way that Sean can no, not in his find, hands, people's, for sure, no. find people's chins? He's got that knee, though. He does have that knee, yep. Who he knocked out, what, Frankie Edgar with? He knocked out someone else. Was it? Yeah, okay. Who was it? Uh, he KO'd Marlon Rice. That was a sick KO. Most of, most of his kick. finishes are with kicks when he has got mm-hmm. finishes or knees, sorry. I think he won this fight against TJ as well. Anyway, that's our pick for the main event. Let us know what you think down below. Moving on down the card. This is going to be a war. Double DP. penetration against Benoit Saint Denis. I was talking about him today. Who Saint Denis? Yep, coming out of the French Special Forces. Yeah, he's a killer. And literally. then the big CEO of the company that I am a sales rep at came walking out. And he said, "What are you talking about?" And it was a very embarrassing moment because I'm scared of him. And he is. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He's just German. But um, they are kind of scary. Yeah. But then I said, "What?" He said, "What are you talking about?" I said, uh, "UFC." He said, "What's that?" What's that? Yeah, Jackson. Please, please don't. <laughs> and then um, really watch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think this this fight is going to get taken into deep waters. I think both of these guys are going to get rocked. I think both of these guys have a point to prove. Um, I think Dustin's getting finished in the first round. Really? Yeah. I just uh, just from his interviews that I've heard, he I seems he, unsure about himself. Yeah, he does. Though. He's like put, putting in loads of little excuses in there just in case he loses. Like, look, this guy's the hungry guy, and I gave someone someone gave me a chance once, and now I'm giving him a chance. And you know, maybe if I do lose this one, maybe I do hang up the gloves. You know, me, I'm age 35. Every fight could be my last. It's, it's like that doesn't sound like the Dustin Poirier that wants to go out there and kill. You know, and and Saint Denis is a literal killer. What are you doing? What, what I was just saying? looking at the smeg in this drink. There is quite a lot. It's pretty yeah, good. I agree. So, Saint, look, yeah. But St. Denis hasn't fought someone even close to this level. Absolutely not. You're Pull right. Pull up his <clears throat> sure dog, dude. I, I fully agree as well. Um, good. Because uh, a lot of people are, are rock hard, rock solid, well, glazing over Benoit St. Denis. Yeah. Look, I think if you didn't agree with me, I wouldn't pay you this like $250,000 salary to sit here next to me on the show. Exactly. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Look, Tiago Moises, decent fighter. Ismail Bonfiv, very decent fighter that people were very hyped up on when he fought him. Matt um, Frivola. Matt Frivola, decent fighter. He's all right. He finished Drew Dober. Big. Good. Yeah, but he's white. Any white he's guy white. can exactly. finish exactly. Drew Dober. Uh, but look, these guys, then, like you say, they're nowhere near the caliber of... Dustin Poirier, the diamond. Matt Frivola. What's wrong with him? Matt the steamroller, Frivola. What's, do you not like him? Or he's unranked, isn't he? No, he's ranked like 14. Okay, he may as well be unranked. He was on a two-fight win streak. Wow. Wow. Look, Dustin Poirier is a different seasoned caliber. veteran, different caliber. He's good. Just hot good sauce, fighter. man. He's got that sauce. He does. He does. And look, it's going to be very difficult. But my only worry is he got knocked down in his last fight. He's getting older. He's made a bag or two. This could be a repeat of Volk versus Deporia. It could. Very well could be. And look, Benoit's 28. He's hungry as fuck. Like, he is so hungry. He want to eat. guy's intense. He, he want to eat. eat. But at the same time, he's only been training uh, MMA for like eight years, I believe. Not that long. He's only been pro for five. He's only been pro for five. DP is his fought the best of the best. He's beat McGregor twice. He's beat Gaethje. He's beat Holloway twice. He's beat. He's fought Khabib. He's fought Charles. You know these aren't. These are all very tough fights. He mm. beat the living shit out of Dan Hooker. Yep, and, and he also took a beating from Dan Hooker. Yeah, and he he had a very solid stand up fight with Max Holloway. Exactly. I don't know if you just said that then. I did. I kind of at was some point. zoned out. He's, he's the only thinking. fighter to finish to have finished Max Holloway in his whole career. 
They fought twice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he subbed them. So, and I think he's the only guy to, to KO Conor McGregor. Pretty damn good. That is pretty damn, pretty damn good. good. He was the first person to ever knock out. Uh, who's your favorite fighter? Sean Strickland. No, not him. Um, Bobby Green. First He's person not that my ever knocked. Favorite. Well, he was for a little while. I he think. wasn't my favorite. Well, you like him. I do you like, like him. him. You want to kiss and him? And I and I and I was saying that he was going to beat Tony Ferguson when everyone was still fucking jerking their little dicks. So over I knew Tony that Ferguson. he was going to lose. I knew that he was going to lose. But you're still saying no. Tony's got this. I, yeah, because I was trying to hope it into reality. Hope it into reality. Yeah, if you were around there the sport go, for more than like two months, There's you would have little... also been a big Tony. Sorry. Player. Yeah. And what? Sorry, Bobby Green has been around for a long time. He has, but he was never as good as Tony back no. in his heyday. But he has aged better. Yeah, he has. Yeah. And I like his style. Well, fair play. I like his hands down, head movement, heavy style. Okay. I like well, that. Well, you know, we were talking about Dustin Poirier. We were, but then, then you go you, all getting all hard over fucking you Bobby Green. went and threw me under the bus there. Anyway, what's your call? What are you picking? What are you predicting for this I fight? I think this is going to be Jackson. a repeat of Justin Gaethje versus Fazeev. And I think we could see Benoit get dragged into 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 Saint Deep Waters. and um, That was good. And just be slightly outclassed. Is this a five round fight? This is a five round fight. There we go. So look, <clears throat> I really, really want that to be true. I want to see Dustin get a win. And I want to see him retire as well afterwards. I reckon that'd be cool. Okay. One more fight, retire. If he wins, he won't retire because he'll want to go for one more run. But I'm so going to say- So you want to see him win and you want to see him retire, but you think if he wins, he won't retire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I want to see him win, walk off into the sunset on top, retire. But I don't think he would retire if he if he did win. And I think he's going to lose. I think he's going to get knocked out. And I think it's going to be in the first round. Maybe I'm just being a real dickhead with that call. I'm trying. I'm I'm going to have to try and find someone to watch this in Westport. Yeah, true. Just get it on your phone. Yeah, yeah. but then I'll uh, pay for it to watch on my phone. That's just yeah, it's a, bit a bit shit. And it's not like my uncle has a TV. His, it, well, he has a TV, but he doesn't have Wi-Fi. So he just watches movies? No, he just he watches... Sky? No, he just got it like a free view box. Uh, You've seen his house, right? I showed you that picture. It's like a yeah, shed. Yeah, just a black shed. It's not a black shed. Uh, it's just mul- multiple like different Shrek. colors of iron. Yeah, all right. Oh, good on him. It, he's a stud. Take an iPad or something. I don't know. Shout out Pete. Shout out Big Pete. Shout out Barefoot Pete. You have to put this show on on the weekend. That's, what, they, that's what I know about him. <laughs> Uh, honestly, moving on. The next fight is one. Honestly, of them. moving. <laughs> honestly, on. moving on. The guys, next fight I'm not going to lie to you. We're best. moving on. We're moving on, guys. Guys, just in case you thought we were lying, we're not. We're just moving on. Michael Venom Page is making his debut in the UFC the against Uf. Kevin Holland, who is a bit of a veteran. In, well, he's a bit of a veteran, but I think he's in the best place of his career so far. He's taken. Some fun fights lately. Yeah, he has. Uh, he's 31. Is I was really disappointed with that Jack Della Maddalena fight. I didn't watch it, to be honest. Oh, really? It was not good. You didn't miss much. It was uh, on that Mexican Independence Day or Mexican that Mexican card they did. Uh, fight night in Vegas that was like a Mexican card. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I think it was Independence Day. But anyway. No, I um, think that was in Mexico, wasn't it? No, they did a card in Mexico, but they also did one on Mexican Independence Day that was in Vegas. Cool. Yeah. Look, I bet you this is in Vegas. It's loading, guys. Just in case you thought we were lying. Ebo Arena. But then look at all the look at all the Mexicans. Raul Rojas Jr. That guy. Something else is lagging. That guy. Weird. Very strange. Yeah. Anyhow, no, I, I hear. You. I agree. I, look, I I think that um, old mate Jack uh, Kevin Holland is is also in the prime of his career, thirty one years old. I want to see him get some solid wins under his belt. Uh, he he's not one that wants the title. He just wants to fight. He wants to have fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, he be, he's beaten some really good fighters. Michael oh, yeah. Chiesa, Santiago Ponzinibbio. Uh, he's taken some really hard fights. Oh, absolutely. That 
the Chimaev fight. Obviously, that was basically unwinnable for him. Um, Even the Stephen Thompson fight, he made that unwinnable for yeah. himself. He went in there and made it a stand-up battle. Kung Fu versus Karate. Yeah. Took oh, him down a couple times and let him get straight back up. Took him down by accident. Let that boy get straight back up. Yeah. That boy. Took him down by accident. What a weirdo. We did. <coughs> was um, like, just ended up on top of him. He did. Like, oh. He did. He's like, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 trying sorry. Not, oh, oh, trying not oh. to. And then he came. Uh, anyways. That's not what happened. Yeah, isn't, isn't exactly. Not exactly, but we'll just say it was close. So Michael Fenton Page, he fights Kevin Holland, KH, today, uh, on the weekend. Sorry. Look, I think this is the perfect fight for MVP to take. I haven't heard anything from Kevin Holland to say that he is going to do that that whole same agreement where he's not going to take him down. Yeah, he is. He had? Yeah, oh, he, he commented, commented on, on our thing. Instagram. Yeah, he said no. Nah. Shout out our, our biggest fan, Kevin Holland. KH, friend of the show. Yeah, good friend of the show. Good. I even messaged him. Later, off that account, and he didn't reply. Oh, damn. Because he, he, I think he's got some sort of drift car, man. Oh, really? Yeah, and I messaged him to ask what kind of car it was, but he didn't reply. Fair enough. Well, I guess he probably just saw us, that we tagged him in a post. I just really like, wanted to know what kind of car Kevin Holland has with a hydro handbrake. You oh, you, so you only saw the inside of the car. one of those handbrakes to like, ah. shh, like one of them. Yeah, you only saw the inside of the car. I imagine it's some sort of American car because I didn't, I, I can pick most what a car is from just seeing the dash. Mm. I'm a nerd when it comes to cars, but not MMA, obviously. I'm very slack at this. No, you're great. Speaking of this, something rumbling out there. It's very loud. Just ignore it. <coughs> Pretend you can't hear it. Um, Get that down, mate. Sorry. Um, um, who, what do you, who do you think is going to win this fight? KH? MVP? Look. What's your call? I think MVP is going to be coming in more prepared than Kevin Holland, personally. Mm -hmm. I think he's been waiting for this moment for a long time. Um, I think he's been biding his time before he comes across to the UFC. It's been and, and anyone who can build up a name like this for themselves outside of the UFC, I take my hat off to you, sir. I take my hat off. And I take that hat off too. I take my hat off and I put it on Kobe's head so he can take the hat off. Uh, because there's a little there's a oh, little right. sun flap that you can put onto the back of it. It's a very creative, creative uh, styling there. Shout out Dicey. Um, shout out Dicey Industries. I think their Instagram page is called. Is that Dylan's thing? Yeah. It's my high school friend Dylan who won't be listening because he's small. That's why. Dylan doesn't listen to the show because he's under six foot. He's under six foot and he's got no gains. He's got no gains. He spends hardly any time at the gym and he sucks at cooking. Sucks at cooking and he's yeah. not very good at woodwork either. Sucks at that, making, right? what does he make, like tables, tables and chairs. And yeah, stuff. he sucks at and that. And also cars. He doesn't yeah, he sucks cars. at building minis and RX-7s especially. He sucks at all yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. But what he is good at is making little hats and hoodies. So yeah, that's stick always to good what at. you're good at, stick Dylan. To what you're good at, buddy. Uh, little Bella. <laughs> Hey, champ. My, by the way, Michael Venom Page is about to turn 36. What minute is this? 37. I need to tell him about this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be about, around 38, 28. Yeah. Um, also, Dylan, build yourself a proper ice bath. I hear you've just been getting in the bin. That, who'd you hear that off? You told me. Oh, that might have been ages ago. That was like bef uh, three or four months ago. Uh, maybe more than that. Six months. Yeah. It was a while ago. Build yourself I a haven't seen him get in the mate. bin for a while. Yeah. Well, get back I haven't in seen the him been doing get that for a minute. Bin. Yeah, you're Michael right. Venom Michael Page. Venom Page is, was it say 35? He's 37. He's 36. Oh, 36. Turning 37 in April. I didn't bring my next spectacles. Month. He didn't. He's turning 37 next month, uh, which is pretty insane. Michael, uh, Kevin Holland is obviously quite a lot younger at 31. He's making that Yoel Romero UFC debut type yeah. thing. I think, I think you're right too. I agree. I think uh, we'll see Page get it done. But I think it's going to be a war up Ooh, until yeah. the point of the finish. I think, I think they're going to be like, finish. at the end of the fight, they're going to be like, you know, yeah, yeah. they're going to be, be like, like faces hanging off. Like, yeah. Fucking like, yeah, his lip will be like down under up. his chin. And we might even see a robbery. Might see like an eye hanging out by yeah, like eye, the, potentially. the little tendon. I think we might see a robbery. 
Like, uh, in all honesty, I think we might see a fight that that's very close. But it what do you goes... mean a robbery? Why do you say that? I think Kevin Holland might. What about these guys? Makes you say that we're going to see a robbery? Ah, uh, okay. That was you who clicked to that, not me. No, you said it. Was it was you who clicked to that. Whoa. I was talking in purely M- MMA terms. You you took it to race. This guy. <laughs> I, I look. All right. I'm going to call Michael Venom Page by decision. I think it's going to be a robbery. I think. Kevin Holland is going to do just enough to get it done, or more than just enough. He'll probably win two rounds pretty clearly, and I think they'll give it to Michael Venom Page anyways. Okay. I'm calling a decision. MVP. Are you saying the same? I think, yeah, I think MVP is going to finish him off. Outclass him on the feet. But then I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a third round finish. I'm not going to say who. I'm going to leave it up to a surprise for my verdict picks. Okay. Um, because I'm still not 100% sure. Fair enough. Well, I think there there is room for both of these guys to win this fight, and Absolutely. that's what I like about it, and that's why I think this is the people's main event, you know? The people's champ. Yeah. Some people might think that DP versus BSD is the, uh, you know, BSD. Big soggy, you know, big soggy dick. Oh, I was meaning Benoit Saint-Denis. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But, yeah, no, big soggy dick is... Uh, Oh, oh! That reminds me of some other fight that's on this card that All we right. should talk we'll, about at, we'll some go point. Back at some point. That's going to be really funny when you make the correlation to that. But I'm going to move on. Yeah, Gilbert, Gilbert Burns, Burns, Jack, Della Madalala, JDM versus GB, uh, Gilbert Burns versus Jack Della Madalena. Jack Della Madalena, hailing from Australia. Same. Yeah. Me too, Jack. He was born there. We're like the same. Gilbert that, Burns, you know? born in Brazil. Brazil. I can't relate to that. Sorry, Gilbert. Gilbert Burns being a former Brazilian jiu-jitsu world champ. Pretty insane. Uh, and Jack Della Madalena having some pretty good skills on the ground too. Uh, Coming this is off a be win a banger. against Kevin Holland. Coming off a, a win against Holland and he's lower on the card. How does that Strange. Work? Dana? I, I think Dana. this is gonna, this could potentially be fight of the night too. It's either going to be this or... They're all going to be fight oh, of the night. Bloody good. Every single fight is going to be Go fight to Yarn, of the night. Go to Yarn, Song Your Dong as well. That's, we'll talk about Who's that Who's Dong? Look, I think if... What? I think we're going to see a, pre- a boxing clinic from Jack Della Maddalena. And this, in this fight, we're going to see if Gilbert Burns really wants to still be in the game. What do you think? Tell me. I think Gilbert Burns, Burns is, a good is, is... Yeah, no, that was great, man. You're doing well over there, eh? Cheers, buddy. No, you know what? Fuck off, you cocky bastard. Well, I Remember think I Gilbert is here. is well known for fighting these up and coming guys and dragging them out. I, oh, I've already said that <laughs> this episode. So bent, what you're saying? Dragging them out into deep waters. All oh, right. How's that bent? Up and coming. You're the one who called Dragging Saint him Denis off. big Tugging soggy dick. Yeah. Anyway, and keep you're going. Calling... Go with your call. Right. I want to hear it, buddy. Buddy boy. I think this is going to be another. Veteran outclasses the young gun situation. Oh yeah, all right. You know, all right. Um, Bumba clut. I'm going um, the other way. I think we're going to see a boxing clinic and great takedown defense from Jack. Uh, I think Jack's got it. I think he's got the heart. I think he's got the freshness. I, I think Gilbert's a bit beaten up. He's been there. He's done that. Does he still have the drive? We will see on Saturday. What was night. his last fight against um? What's that guy's name? Halal um, snack pack. Halal <laughs> snack pack. Yeah, that was him. Bilal snack pack. Bilal snack pack. BSP. BSP. Uh, yeah, it was. That was his last fight. <laughs> <laughs> he got pretty dominated in that. Uh, I just have this. It's an irracial thing at all. But you walk into one of those fucking kebab shops at 3 What's up, boss? And just slicing some meat off the thing. Turns around. What's up, boss? What can I get you? I was thinking of like a halal snack pack with just Bilal's little face on it. Bilal snack pack. <laughs> Bilal snack pack. Oh. I'm going to remember his name now. That's the worst part. Yeah. Bilal snack pack. Oh. Is it like a... a uh, yeah. Um, We're gonna get a Gilbert Burns. That was his, so. here we are. Gilbert Burns. That was his, if anyone watches that is Gilbert Burns. Last uh, episode, last fight was against Balal Snack Pack. <laughs> we uh, can't call him that. It's so bad. Yeah, we can. It rhymes. <laughs> no. 
No one even knows what it is. A halal snack pack that makes yeah. it even worse. He's a Muslim guy. I know, but you can't just go. It rhymed. Bilal, halal. Let's talk about the fight. Yeah, the Gilbert fight that Burns, is happening. Jack Della Maddalena. I think we're going to see Jack outbox him mm-hmm. with his slick boxing. I think he's going to be able to defend the takedowns of Jiu Jitsu master Gilbert Burns. Halal, but snack pack. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I think I, th- I think we're gonna see a decision again. I don't think I don't think. Oh, actually, fuck! I don't know. I need to put more more finishes on this card. Hmm. Everything will be going to decision, ladies and gentlemen. Do I think that Jack's gonna get it done? Don't I? I think I, I think we're gonna see him get a, a TKO in, late in the fight, probably the third round. TKO okay. to Jack, third round. And you're saying? I'm saying TKO Gilbert, late round two. Okay. Very late round okay. two, the last minute of round last two. Last minute of round two. Fair play, good call. Again, I, look, I want to see Jack progress. I want to see what happens with Jack. He's very talented, but I don't like seeing Gilbert lose. That's tricky, eh? Yeah, it's tricky. Anyway, moving, moving on. Moving on. Peter. Peter, Peter, <laughs> what is going on today? Peter, yeah. <laughs> versus, versus that song music. about your dong. Yeah, Peter versus music. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to say about Jack Della Maddalena. Sorry, just before what? we. What did you want to say about it? He should have the Tokyo Drift theme song for his JDM. walkout song. Yeah, JDM. It'd be a bit of a you know. I just like fighting. Yeah, I don't like, like cars. Oh, what? That's what he might say. Okay. Sorry, Jackson. If we interviewed him. <laughs> sorry, Jackson. If we interviewed him, he might be nah, like, Sorry, look, mate. Look, just, I, look, I, look I don't really get behind that whole uh, bloody I don't Japanese like domestic market. I just like to fight. I just like scrapping. Just like scrapping. Yeah, just like scrapping and, and chucking a couple of shrimps on the barbie. That's what he might say. That's yeah. what he could say. That's what he did say. Piotr Yan versus Song Yudong. Good luck. Song you dong. I think we're gonna see Piotr Jan get a finish. I think he's got a vengeance under his bollocks, especially now that he is the opening fight. Yeah, he's actually on the main card now, which is good. Bro has lost some hype, a little bit, but I, I reckon he's ready to take it back. One of the most it. dynamic strikers we've ever seen in the bantamweight division, and he mixes in those trips really nicely. Mm. Really nicely. This guy is a Muay Thai master. Little man. Little. Small. This guy's a little Muay Thai master. Boxing. Good. Connoisseur. He, yeah, I think he is a He's master. A Muay Thai sport. master and a boxing connoisseur. He is. Trips are a, a beautiful, a great CV. ground game. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. on his CV? I think we're going to see. Uh, look, it's going to be a close fight. Song Yudong's no pushover. He's got power. He's got great, great boxing. But I think we're going to see Song Yudong, uh, Piotr Yan get it, get it done. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to see probably. I, I'm going to call it a, a submission. A Piotr Yan submission. Has he ever done that before? No, he doesn't seem like a submissive guy. Ground and pound TKO late round three. Okay. Two. Round two TKO. I think we're going to see a round one finish from Piotr Yan. Round one finish, you reckon? Yep. Okay. okay. And he's, like you say, I think he's going to come out there. There's going to be a little bit of a, a fire lit underneath him. <laughs> photo, but he's not even looking at the camera. Oh, that one. He's a cutie, isn't he? <laughs> yes. What, that one? Yo, the <laughs> bloody hell. The traps on him. Damn. bro has got full-on rodent traps up there. That's why, I, I think that's why a lot of people don't like Marab Dvalishvili, because he literally ruined the whole PD yarn thing by Yoda. Piotr Yarn, by like just manhandling him for five rounds. Oh, he's lost three fights in a row. Yeah, four out of his last five. Um, I mean, the first Ouch. Aljo loss shouldn't have happened. The second loss was very, very close. The Sean O'Malley loss was very debatable. I mean, Marab absolutely EPO'd him out of the park. But, <clears throat> you know, um, I think we're both thinking. So you're saying round one finish, I'm saying round two. Mm. <clears throat> Moving on to the prelims, the preliminary card. We've got Curtis Blades versus Jalton Almeida. Good step up in competition for Jalton. 
Uh, I think he's going to struggle here. I think he's going to struggle big time. Like we've spoken about before, his wrestling isn't all that. Like no. once he does get people to the ground, great jujitsu, great jujitsu. Um, Curtis Blades, he has we, wrestling. He has great wrestling. Great wrestling. Um, the main thing. I think we're going to see Curtis Blades stuff the takedowns and outstrike him. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really see Almeida rate, being able to strike with Blades. He's yeah, knocked I don't, people I don't out before. His, I don't rate his striking all that much. No, and he's small. For the heavyweight division. Curtis Very. Blades is a big heavyweight. Huge. Big dog. I think we're going to see a decision here. Uh, Curtis Again? Blades by decision. Yeah. Bloody hell, mate. Hey, no, look, I gave three TKOs and two oh, decisions. No, you did. Yeah. yeah. Caitlin Chikuzian versus Macy Barber and uh, Mercedes Gamrot versus Rafael de Sanjos. Let's just skip past that one, eh? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. What do you think about this? Chikuzian, Macy Barber. Macy Barber's going to win a robbery decision. Yeah, I think Gamrock can get it done here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, I'm going to say Macy Barber by decision, but it's going to be a robbery for sure because that's how it works. Um, Gamrock versus Asanjos. I think Gamrock has a lot to prove. Yeah. He has had a, a rough. Hasn't he lost his? Did he lose his last fight? No, he beat Fiziev. Oh, but that was because Fiziev. Broke himself. Yeah, broke himself, yeah. So, look, DeSandros has some great wrestling. Tough great titties. Great jiu-jitsu. Tough some guy. Fantastic. Very tough guy. Big boob. Jiu-jitsu. Um, he's, he's strong. He's got a gas tank. But he's old. He's old. And Gamrot's not that Gamrot's old. Not. Gamrot's 33. The RDA is 39. Uh, it's Gamrot obviously has fought... Some decent fighters recently, but some dodgy, dodgy ones recently, you know. RDA still got it. I don't see Gamrot out um at out striking him. No. I think we're gonna see a decision. Wow. You're really <laughs> mixing it up today, aren't you? You're really taking it. They both some got great risks. wrestling. I don't think I don't think Bring up Gamrot's record. Just quickly. I know this might not be the most this might not be what you came to listen to today. The prelims. A big breakdown of the prelims, but it's what you're going to get. Last loss was to Benny. Uh, dominated him on, Dude, the, on the ground. Winning over Jalen Turner. Yeah, but that was close. I thought Jalen won that. That was a split decision. It was very close. Like, it wasn't super impressive. And then the Fiziv. Fiziv was doing better than Gamrot, I thought, until that injury. Yeah. Fiziv is a beast. I think we might see Karma. Yeah. I think we might see RDA get a finish by submission. Nah, but Gamrot's good at wrestling. Yep. Look, I don't know. How active has he been lately? Is this RDA's? Yeah, this is RDA. Yeah. <clears throat> His last fight against Luke was at Walter Waite. Where's that fight against Moicano? Oh, yeah. What? This is Moicano. Oh, right. So that was, okay. Was, yeah. And then he lost to Fiziev. Lost to Fiziev via KO. It was a close fight though. Beat Barbarina. Yeah. Lost to Vincent Luque. I think we're going to see submission by RDA. Okay. That's that's what I'm calling. I'm, okay, This Kobe. is my wild card. Okay. This is my wild card. Okay, mate. Moving on All down right. the card, we have the final fight of the prelims: Munoz versus Kyler Phillips. Uh, I think we see a decision by Munoz. I agree. Yeah, I don't Kyler think Phillips he's... is all right. Yeah, but neither of these guys are real, real stoppers. You know, real show Lights. stoppers, real studs. Jump into the early prelims. Early prelims. There let's, is. Skim over it. A guard. Look at the 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 Spanier. Yeah, like Spanier. Bring up his record and it will blow your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, is this if the, you weren't the planning on watching the early prelims, check out this guy. This is the one that I got reminded of by you saying that vulgarous thing earlier. This last fight lasted four seconds. He finished it by a punch. The fight before that lasted three seconds. He finished it by a punch. The fight before that lasted 12 seconds. Guess what? Punches. The, the, his first professional MMA fight, there was, 
yeah, it, it was four minutes and fifty four seconds. So that that's not as impressive. But here he is on the screen, by dude, the way, guys. That's incredible. That is incredible. The guy's a uh, Olympian at Taekwondo, so he's no slouch, that's for sure. And he's fighting Josh Parisian. That's a decent wee kickstarter into your UFC career. Josh Parisian coming off two losses. He's going to get absolutely smoked. His last three <laughs> fights have lasted under 20 seconds. Yeah, it's insane. And he's six foot nine, I think. Six, seven. This guy's getting a win. You need to tune in for this, guys. I don't uh, care if you don't watch any of the other early prelims. I don't care. No, I, I don't care if you guys don't do that. It's there's, not my there's business. Another, there's another exciting this one. one, though, on the early prelims. Mikel Pereira. I would recommend watching that one. Yeah, he's always... He's always fun. He's always, always fun. exciting. Doing backflips um, and shit. Yeah. So What's he doing? He's doing backflips. And shit. Sure. And shit, Ting. In the what cave. style is that called again? Uh, Capoeira. Capoeira, yeah. Ion Kutabella or also fighting. He's always entertaining. Against Felipe Linz. Look, if you're going to tune into any early prelims, tune into this one. Because it's bloody good. It is. Um, there's a few other things we're going to discuss today. Let's is move there? on from UFC 299. Is there? What are we going to discuss, Kobe? The boxing card. Oh, there is too. There's a boxing card. If you didn't know that, it's because boxing promotion is shit it is we've spoken Crap. about this before so i'm not going to get into it this is a huge angry. fight anthony joshua tyson no anthony joshua francis and garnu and then on the undercard we have joe joyce versus not joe joyce jang versus joe parker interesting fight both of them wow like my little take there it's yeah good take, isn't interesting it? fight interesting fight i don't think you've ever said that before i don't think you've ever described a fight as interesting you're before. the guy who says interesting no anyway Zach, i think this is gonna be here. good did he is that no right? he will though oh, he will if i tell him to <laughs> that sounded like a threat it does it he does will because it is, a threat. it is a threat and right now he'll be shaking in his little work boots is he working right his, now? Does he, he listen while he's yeah, working? Yeah, he's working right now. Right now, that when he's listening to this, he's working. Okay. He's in his little work boots, and they're shaking because I threatened him. And, and he's got his him. little... Um, he's pissed himself. What are they called? I think they might be GM earmuffs. I can't remember, but they're like Bluetooth earmuffs. Uh, yeah. Well, Very flashy little Zach, piece of equipment. Just know, if you're scared, you can always come to me. Because this guy, he's nothing. Right, Sounds Zach? pretty bent, Kobe. You can always come on me, Zach. Uh, anyway, the fights. Back shots. I think, starting from the top. <laughs> yeah, Zach. Just know that. Starting from the top, guys. Anthony Joshua's fighting Francis Ngannou. This is going to be cool. This is going to be awesome. Uh, two big power punches. I think we're actually going to see a stoppage in this one. Mm, I hope so. Uh, Anthony Joshua's not got the best chin. He's a bit chinny. He's been clipped. I think he's going to get knocked out. Do you reckon? Yeah. Are you that confident now? I... Well, no, I'm not that confident, but I said I think he's going to get knocked out, and I kind of whispered it a little bit. You did. A little and then bit. I wanted to drift off behind the curtain here, um, but I didn't. Okay, I'm going to say Josh was going to get it done. Now, by decision? Don't tell me Outboxing decision. Outboxing him and getting a finish late. He's Probably yeah. round eight. Look, Francis could clip him. Francis could clip anyone, and they will go to sleep What's most likely. What's Joshua's uh, gas tank like? Oh, it's good. He can go 12 rounds easy. Okay. Because yeah. he's a lot more of a... Carries around a lot more muscle than uh, the old Tysonius uh, Fury that we saw at Francis No, he, he, he'll be fine. He won't time. guess. Absolutely won't guess. He's technically very clean. Um, big guy, strong, knockout power, great combos, clean boxing, good de defensively, very good. Have we ever seen Francis get knocked out? Get knocked out? Mm. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think this could be a real test of his chin. Yeah. You might see him get dropped, but I think it's going to be Francis's heart that that rises above all. I hope he does. I hope he gets it done. And he gets it done for the Who's fans. Who's he going to fight next if he wins? Uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, they're going to dig him up. Is he coming out of the grave Yeah, for this one? They're going to dig him up. Tyson Fury. No, Tyson Mike. Tyson Mike. Tyson Mike. <laughs> the winner of this has to fight the winner of Usyk versus Tyson Fury. I think that's obvious, right? Joe mm. Joyce, uh, sorry, Joe Parker and uh, well, uh, Zhang. I think they're fighting for the interim belt, aren't they? Uh, Zhang and sure. Joe Parker. I, I don't think so. Pull it up, Jamie. 
interim belt in boxing. Yeah, I think so. The interim what? WBC. Could be. Well, I would know, but they haven't really, um, what's the word? Promoted, promoted it. it. Uh... Look, go down. First article there. NZ Herald. Joseph Parker versus Li Zhang. Interim heavyweight title bout. Look at that, champ. That's what I'm going to do now when you're typing. What do you reckon? Tell us what you think. Is that a good little segue? Sure. Um, oh, so Usyk has WBO. So, uh, yeah. So they're next up for one of Usyk's belts. But uh, honestly, let's be real. We all know what's going to happen here. Usyk is going to fight Fury. The winner is going to fight Joshua or uh, Ngannou, whoever wins that fight. I think that's what we want to see. I'm going to call that. You've called that too. I'm very excited for that. That one's on Saturday for us instead of Sunday. The co-main, Joseph Parker versus Zhang, as we mentioned. Very good fight. Very good fight. Yeah. I haven't seen any of uh, Jay Li Zhang's fights, to be honest. Have you? Be honest. No. No, you haven't. <laughs> I've seen highlights, and he looks good. Yeah. He's beaten some good prospects. He beat uh, Joe Joyce. He's but beaten... I think... Um, the- the, few really the, good guys. The, I, I think the thing with Joseph Parker is he had a good little hype train there for a few years. He beat a, he beat off a few good guys, as we all do. Um, but then beating Deontay Wilder might be kind of overshadowing the other. I hate to the say it, but the downfalls that he's had in his career. Oh, right. When he gets to this kind of level, okay, he has got to this level before. Didn't he fight Tyson Fury? No. He no? fought Joshua and he lost. Oh, that's right. It was decision. Joshua. He's I been finished a couple him times. Win. Yeah. Look, the He's thing a friend is, of the show. He, no doubt, he just made mincemeat of Deontay Wilder. But Deontay Wilder's not a great technical boxer. The, the, the blueprint has been set there. He's past his prime. He's past his prime. We've seen other people just go in there and completely just touch away at him for 12 rounds and Who have we seen do watch that? him get. Huh? Who have we seen do that? Tyson Fury. Exactly. What? Oh, I thought you were trying to make a mockery of me. No, I was just pointing it out. But Li Zhang, fighting out of the CCP, he's a dangerous, dangerous little fella. He's a big guy. Well, yeah, he's a big guy. but <laughs> He's a fucking huge man. Look, Yeah, I think he can get a finish. Uh, I think we're going to see a bit of a brawl. Park is probably the more technical guy. Zhang hits a lot harder. But I'm saying he has a lot more technical skills than Deontay Wilder. Yeah, for and sure. And Deontay Wilder could hit a lot harder than Parker. Absolutely. So you think Jang's going to win? I How don't... do you know he's got more technical prowess when you've never seen him fight? I've seen highlights. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm that guy now too. All right. Um, I'm going to go with JP. Let's just watch unfold. I'm going to go with JP. Yeah, I'm going to have to back JP as well. I think because that, that guy Parker's that been... trains with him. He's kind of scary. Who watches our TikTok videos. <laughs> And then calls us out to fight him every time. Yeah. No, he didn't. Call no, us he was out he was chill. Him. He just said we were wrong. He wasn't chill. He, he was wasn't chill about chill. it at all. Uso. He was Uso. Yeah, he called us Uso. That's yeah, threatening ass, thing. bro. That's a friend thing. That's, I think that's brother. I think that Parker's been training hard. You guys don't know. You haven't been training with him. These are all the things he told us. Yeah, he's just trying to flex. Joseph Parker, get it done, brother. You're a friend of the show. You'll always be a friend of the show, Joseph Parker. We love you. You've been training well. You're very good. Thank you. Moving on. Ryan Garcia is having a bit of a meltdown. Did we give our picks on Ngano Joshua? Yeah, we did. Okay. You well, said Ngano's going to do it. Oh, I yeah, said Joshua. Ryan Garcia, what's he doing? I don't know. Put him in a clinic. Well, there was apparently they tried to. With a jacket. I think that he's been on a bit of Oscar De La Hoya's like, he can't move and juice. make some tweets. Yeah. He's been tweeting, he's been Instagramming, posting weird ass shit. It all started when he posted a picture of his like future wife, girlfriend. <laughs> it's very odd. It's kind of worrying because he's a young guy, he's 25. Um, you know, he took his first loss recently. And you know, very recently he's been posting some very concerning things on the internet. It's deleted in real time. I'm going to set up live drug test. I'm gonna prove I'm not tripping. 
I feel like crying because I'm giving everyone info they already know, but they refuse to believe. Do you want proof now? I'll get it ASAP. N N. You just said N N. Have I said one lie though? Um. Oh, there's yeah. A few of them have been deleted. Uh. Was oh this one I thought was quite good. Okay, enough. It's on. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to end this Jake Paul boxing thing. Bring it on, Jake. I'm dead fucking serious. Fuck you. Hit my team up. Um, he made another one saying that he's, he's sad that he uh, introduced Jake Paul to boxing because of the mockery that he's making of the sport. Which is fair, fair enough. But it's just odd. It's just very weird. There's videos, there's posts, there's cryptic messages. Seems like he's on something, maybe. He's got a very big fight coming up. Another friend of the show thinks, um, this is Theo from our Ah, MMA chat. Cheer, Theo. Said that he thinks it's because Ryan Garcia is no longer the golden boy of boxing. He did say that, yeah. Because he has taken a loss recently. But he took that loss a good few months ago. and He was okay for a while. Yeah, we haven't seen Seen him. Look, this is a guy who's taken a significant time away from the sport for mental health problems. Which I respect that. When you're coming up yeah. and he did that when you're he was dealing twenty one. Yeah, when you're dealing with a lot of fame, you're a very young guy. Um, you have potential to make serious waves in the sport. You want to make sure your head's in the right place. Mm. It looks like you might need to do that again or potentially <clears throat> just move away from this altogether because if you're look, it's not maybe you can't quite handle it. Maybe he's not built for the the limelight. And that's it's, fine if you're not. There's no problem with it's that. It's sad to watch someone go down this path, it you is. know, like what are you talking about? Mate, what are you doing? Mate, what are oh, you doing? Oh no, I'm just giving you the information. Shut up. All right. He was talking about being <laughs> uh, said, Hey guys, I'm projected to be a billionaire. And then he went on this big spiel about how the um sex trafficking industry oh, is a hundred and fifty billion dollar industry and how he's going to have to earn a hundred billion dollars so he can i don't know buy out the sex buy traffickers it. you just be it. like oh yeah i'll buy the sex trafficking industry and just stop sex trafficking look none of us like sex, sex trafficking let's be real i'm not a fan personally not a fan look yeah. i know people that you know might be on the other side of that but look that's their thing but yeah me personally i'm not a fan i'm not a fan I either. don't like normal traffic for one. No, traffic sucks. Sex trafficking on top of that is just Way worse. ten times worse. Yeah. At least ten times. So that, that's when they have traffic when jam. people have sex in traffic. I don't know. I'm not sure either. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> something like that. Must be. Yeah. Should we should we review our wee drink? I was behind a Toyota High Ace the other day. It just wasn't going anywhere. If only I'd have known they were sex trafficking. I know. In the front oh, bullshit. seat. God damn. It's in the middle of nowhere. I was beeping and they were, you know, going at it. Sleeping. I was beeping. They were sleeping. Sex trafficking. Sex traffic. Traffic sexing. Sexy traffic. Cars Sexy traffic. in bras. <laughs> Man, we've had a lot of hot takes on we this have. episode. A lot of like little quips and stuff. A lot, a we're getting of, better. A little, well, no, I don't know. I, I think this has been a great episode. This is dangerous. It's been good. Dangerous territory good, here. Uh, I want to review my drink. Oh, okay. You let me know when I can review mine. Aloe Vera. The great drink known to men as the drink that you drink when you're horny. I might just read the ingredients real quick for them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right. John Team Paul. Top Palms. You feel Guys, they have put a full on essay on the side of the bottle here. Well, it's just ingredients in a bunch of different languages. That doesn't matter to me. It's all letters, isn't it? I'm going to read the. Es just de aloe vera, 14%. Aloe vera gel. You don't have <laughs> Double out here. Look. I think this is very tasty. It was yum. Yeah. I wasn't quite expecting healthy. it to be tasty as it is. I know is where I healthy. want to put it. I'm going to rub it all over myself for uh, after sun care. That's what I'm going to put it. Okay, anyway, where are you going to put it, Kobe? Uh, where's the mogu mogu? Down the bottom. Oh, there. On the first row. I think row. I'll put it two above that. Why we put it here? Put it under the hemp drink. Yeah. Above the Chubba Chub grape. Where are you putting it? Look, I think the Chubba Chub grape has become a bit of a benchmark, hasn't it? It's better, yeah. It, we knew it was a, a solid drink. It was okay. It still tasted weird. It tasted odd. So now if we have a weird drink that tastes all right, we're Put like, let's there. just chuck it above the Chubba Chub grape. And I'm, I'm agreeing with you, okay. champ. 
I'm so, going to take your side on this. The aloe vera drink goes here. Hope you guys like that pick from us. I think what we're going to have to do, um, or what you and someone else possibly are going to have to do at the start of the next episode is ask for more drink suggestions. Yes, that we is true. We can ask for it now, but we are an hour into the episode currently. And there's probably no one listening. Yep, well, Zach, they're all falling Jack. asleep. The Brydens of the world are fast asleep. Yeah. But we've got Zach and Jack. We've got Zach and They'll Jack. Listening. So Zach or Jack, or both, recommend us a drink. Yep. We'll try it next week. I need to piss, so I'm going to shut it down here. Shut it Have down. a wonderful day, or night, or morning, or whatever you want to do today. Just don't sex traffic. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Peace. Peace.